When it comes to landing Hollywood's most coveted roles, even established actors have to show a little hustle. With the knowledge that Ben Affleck will no longer be reprising his role as a Cape Crusader for director Matt Reeves as the Batman, an actor from DC's Man of Steel has tossed his name into the running for the gig. While the next standalone Batman movie was originally set to be written by, directed by, and star Ben Affleck, the two-time Batman actor has instead stepped back, leaving the role wide open. Since then, fans have been buzzing about which stars might step up and don the cape and cowl in Affleck's stead. The most recent name to pop up in association with the Batman has been Robert Pattinson, the British actor who broke into the mainstream as the glittery vampire Edward Cullen in the Twilight film franchise. Though Pattinson has since gone on to prove himself as a capable dramatic actor with movies like Good Time and Maps to the Stars, the internet still reacted somewhat poorly to rumors of his involvement in The Batman. The backlash gave other actors plenty of opportunities to throw their own hats into the ring. One voice in the anti-Pattinson as Batman camp offered their own alternative thoughts about who should play the leads in Reeves' upcoming feature instead pointing to Christopher Maloney, who appeared as Colonel Nathan Hardy in 2013's Man of Steel. This man is not our enemy. Thank you, Colonel. Writing on Twitter in early February, user Emily Diaz made an emphatic case for the longtime character actor, writing, No, no, and a million times no, dude. Robert Pattinson would make a terrible Batman. I think Chris Maloney would make an excellent Batman slash Bruce Wayne. Maloney, who is most recognizable from his lead as NYPD detective Elliot Stabler on Law & Order Special Victims Unit, quickly caught wind of the fans' desire to see him grab the superhero torch from Affleck. The actor took to his own Twitter page to retweet the post, revealing that he would indeed love to play the Batman. As Milani wrote in his post, Yo, DC Comics, this is what the kids call going viral. Pull the trigger, I'm ready, I'm... Batman. Milani as the Caped Crusader is a fun thing to think about, and the actor is no stranger to the world of comic books. On top of his role in Man of Steel, the actor has also appeared in the comic book adaptation Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, based on the comic book series by Frank Miller, as well as the sci-fi TV series Happy, based on a mini-series by Grant Morrison. Milani's enthusiasm is also a refreshing change of pace from the last few years of Batfleck which saw the Argo director seeming to become less and less enthusiastic about the role. Now that Affleck is moving out of Gotham City, plenty of new actors' names have emerged for consideration, including English actor Jack O'Connell, Stranger Things star Dacre Montgomery, and singer-songwriter Nick Jonas. When Reeves first signed on to direct The Batman, it was briefly rumored that the dawn of the Planet of the Apes director wanted Jake Gyllenhaal in the lead role, a possibility that Gyllenhaal later himself shot down. Gyllenhaal instead signed on with Marvel Studios to play the villain in Spider-Man Far From Home, another actor who's been rumored to be angling for the role as Mad Men star John Hamm, who was once said to be gunning hard for the gig. However, it seems unlikely that either he or Milani will ultimately get the part. Unfortunately, despite Milani's enthusiasm, it doesn't seem likely that Reeves and company will end up selecting him for the role. One limiting factor is Milani's age, with his 57 years falling far outside the late 20s to early 30s range that Warner Brothers seems to be looking for. It's been reported that Reeves' take on the Batman will focus on a younger version of the Cape Crusader, which stands in contrast to Affleck's version of an older, grizzled, more world-weary character. Milani would be a versatile actor, but a young man, he is not. Despite all that, history tells us that nothing is set in stone when it comes to the Batman. So, if the producers of the movie decide on a radically different approach, Milani is waiting in the wings to take the job. And if he doesn't get the lead role, who knows, he might still end up in the movie. Donald Glover's campaign to play Spider-Man didn't get him cast as a web-slinger, but he did still end up in Spider-Man Homecoming. Maybe Milani could get cast as a villain, and put his intensity to good use against whoever ends up actually donning the cowl. We'll find out what happens when the Batman hits theaters on June 25th, 2021. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.